Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is Tui Zero IQJ. This week's video, we're going to take a look at the Moonraker Whizloop V2. A 10 watt QRP antenna, and that connects to the radio via the PL259 socket. That's how you tune the, the antenna in, and that's where you connect the included copper wire to. So you can look at the wire, and there's the connections there. I think there's spade connects or terminal block connects. Or I don't, don't, don't know what they call them. So, what are these connections called? In the comments below, tell me what them connections are called. I've just always called them spade connectors. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a 10 watt antenna, and it do AM, SSB, and CW. So, what I'll go and do now is I'll connect it all up to the radio. And I'll show you how to tune in the antenna for your desired band. Catch you in a sec. Right, the radio's on. This display is blue, so hopefully you can see that. And it's connected to the back of the radio via PL259. And the copper wire is connected to the screw terminals there. And we're currently sitting on 40 metres on upper sideband. Yes, I know I should be on lower sideband, but I was playing with FT8. And FT8's done in upper sideband. Um, when we turn the volume up on the radio... You'll, he you'll hear the static is not very loud. The reason being is the antenna isn't tuned for this particular frequency. It's in the top there, so I presume that's tuned for 11 megs or something, something like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the dial this way, round to about the 7, and it should get a bit louder. There you go, you can, hear, you can hear people on there as well now. So that's how you tune the antenna in for the desired band. So let's go 7, I think it's that one. It's coming right about there. Let's put it up a bit there. That's better. Now when I was hearing this noise, I thought, God, there's a number station transmitting on 40 metres. And that's not, that's FT8 data. So I've been playing with that, so I'll do a video of that at some point. Uh, running FT8 on a Macintosh. So if we go down lower sideband. So we can hear anyone on the band. Someone there, a bit back of the box though. Let's just go up to 14 megahertz, that's 20 meters. Again, the static isn't very loud, we need to tune it in. Let's so we can hear you on, on the band. Those are data on the band. Cool, it's some SSTV on 14230. I'm getting that indoors on this loop, so it's working alright. And all I'm doing is finding the right band I want to transmit on, so 7 megs, and then just adjusting here. Excuse me. Right, if you're getting SWR issues when you key up on the radio, it's because this antenna isn't tuned correctly. Just adjust it slightly, and I find that I'm 
using the scale at the back of this uh, antenna here, it's not very accurate. So you have to, it's just judging it each time. You could put it into an SWR antenna analyzer and check it that way. But what I'm thinking of doing is when I get the, the right frequency and I get it spot on, just putting a little mark with a, a, a bit of paint or Tipex or a sticker or something. So I know, okay, so I switch it to there, that's 14. I switch it to there, that's say 10 megahertz. Switch it to there, that's seven, etc. Right, that was a look at the Wizloop V2 antenna from Moonraker. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. With a bit of luck, it will just stop raining, and I can go out and about. And I can test this, do some QRP tests with this radio and this Wizloop antenna. So thank you for watching, thank you to all my new subscribers, and I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0, IQJ, 73s, bye bye bye.